Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of sofa in Autodesk Kinenta software. In this tutorial, we will construct the sofa set in different parts and then assemble them. So we are going to construct first the base part. So this base we are going to construct first. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take the 2D sketch and from here select the XY plane. This will be the front view. Now go to rectangle command and take the two point center rectangle. Select the center point and here make a rectangle profile. Go to dimensions. Here give the dimension as the horizontal dimension will be 850 mm. Zoom out and the vertical dimension will be 650 mm ok now go to fillet command here we will take a fillet radius as 20 mm and select this edge ok and escape go to finish sketch now take the extrude command and here take our extrude distance as 2000 here go to symmetric so half portion will be this and so half will be this so this will be the mid, uh, mid plane go to ok ok so this is the base now we are going to cut the profile so select the top uh, top view go to create sketch here we will make a two point rectangle make a two point rectangle here Go to dimension, the dimension from back will be of 100, here also offset of 100 mm and this side also offset of 100 mm. <coughs> the total length will be 1000, ok. Now we are going to construct this rectangular profile. So go to 3D model, take extrude select this profile and flip the direction ok now here the uh, cut will be of 550 mm ok and press ok now rotate the profile select this bottom go to create sketch take the circle command and here make a circle of dia 15 mm these circles are made for mounting of the leg go to dimension from here this will be at a distance of 100 mm and from back also 100 mm ok go to line command make a center line from this point to this point and a horizontal line layer escape now select both the lines make them construction material now go to mirror command and mirror this circle go to mirror line and select this line apply done go to mirror command once again select both the circles one by one go to mirror line and select this horizontal line apply and done ok so we have four whole, whole profiles select this outer profiles one by one and make them construction geometry ok select this also construction now go to 3d model take extrude now make a window here so it will extrude only the whole profiles flip the direction to cut and take here a cut depth of 30 mm and ok so here whole profile will be made ok rotate now we will define the appearance click here and go to autodesk appearance library now click again take hardwood if you type h so it will come to hardwood so we will select hardwood planks 
okay to show it more uh, realistic go to view from here you can uh, switch on the shadows and reflections okay and save it i have already made the assembly so create new folder of assembly and save here save this as base okay and save now we will make the cushions so here go to assembly here we have three type of cushions first this side cushion second this base cushion and a third will be this back cushion okay so first we will start with this base cushion so go to base okay go to new take a standard part in millimeter and here create sketch and select the exit plane rotate the view go to rectangle command here take a two point center rectangle from this center point make one rectangle profile go to dimension here take the horizontal dimension as 750 mm okay and the vertical dimension as 700 mm go to 3d model take extrude here we will make a extrude of 200 mm and here go to symmetric and okay now to make a uh, edges as round select any one edge and take the fillet here take the fillet radius as 35 radius go to edge selection select this edge this and this four uh, all four edges apply now select this face and select this face and apply so it is an all round cushion now to give the appearance from here we are already in Autodesk appearance library so here the appearance will be of wallpaper so click W so here we will show the wallpaper we are taking here uh, the wallpaper with this wallpaper floral yellow so it will look like a cushion or a cloth appearance will be given to hide these lines go to view go to visual style and change it to shaded okay now it will showing you the complete round profile now you can save it save here save it as base base cushion okay and save now from this only we will make the rest of the cushions so from here go to save as save as uh, save it as the side cushion so cushion will be remain there and this will be side okay and save so this is side cushion here go to the extrude one sketch so double click the sketch one here only the width will be remain the same as 750 and this height will change to 550 okay the cutting profile which we have made is of 550 mm a depth of cut in the base finish sketch so the cushion will shrink to 750 to 550 and save it now from this we will make the third cushion the back cushion go to file save as and save it as back cushion and save okay now go to extrude one sketch one double click here we will change the dimensions so this dimension will be changed to 750 will change to 700 and 550 will change to 350 okay now finish sketch now all the fillet commands will remain same and save it 
so we have made all the three questions now we'll make the last part this foot we will make so to make the foot go to new take a standard part in millimeter and go to create now take a 2d sketch and from here select the xy plane go to line command here make a rough sketch first till here and close escape now go to dimension give this height as 100 mm this width will be of 50 mm and this horizontal dimension as 35 mm okay now go to 3d model take revolve and select this axis to revolve the profile and okay now select this top face go to create sketch and go to circle command select this midpoint make a circle of dia 15 mm okay now go to 3d model extrude extrude it up to a height of 30 mm and okay now select this edge go to fillet here we will give a fillet of radius 10 mm apply remain the fillet command and change the radius to 5 mm click here for edge selection and click this edge for radius 5 mm apply and exit now go to chamfer select this top edge here give a chamfer of 2 mm and apply exit now to give the appearance from here we will take the black color so click b so it will show you all the black colors here we will take the black you can take so this should look like black only now save save it as foot and save okay now exit now only this assembly is open close this also so this is previously made assembly now go to new take a uh, here a standard assembly in millimeter and go to create now go to place okay so this is our folder assembly folder here take first base and open place it over here and escape rotate the profile okay now click on this edge so we are going to work in this view to make this a movement constraint open the base profile open origin here open origin of assembly this is uh, origin of assembly this is origin of base okay go to constraint constraint yz plane and yz plane if it's rotating you can click here on flush and apply go to exit plane and exit plane apply now xy plane and xy plane and apply exit place the other parts go to place take the foot first go to foot open and place it over here escape now go to assemble go to constrain select this top face rotate and select this piece escape now select the center axis rotate the view and here select this uh, sphere so it will take the center axis and here go to align apply exit so it will be aligned here now we want to pattern this or you can mirror this so go to mirror select this part go to mirror plane and here take the visor plane you can see i will rotate the view so this will be the middle plane so it will mirror uh, the foot till here 
next and okay now we want to mirror these two foot this side also so go to mirror command once again select both the profiles go to mirror plane and this time we will select the xy plane so it will mirror this side next and okay okay so this will be the base now we will assemble the cushions so go to place here first we will place the side cushion open and place it over here escape go to constraint select this face and select this face apply select this face rotate and select this face of base apply and select this back face rotate and select this face and apply ok exit now go to home again ok and rotate rotate it like this and click on this edge for this view now place it over here now we have placed the side cushion now place the base cushion the bottom cushion so go to place here take the base cushion open and place it over here escape go to constrain select this face rotate the view and select face of side cushion and apply now select this face and this face of side cushion it's uh, as it's going against so here go to flush and apply okay select this bottom and rotate the view and select this bottom go to mate and apply rotate the view so this will be the view now exit now we will place the back cushion so go to place take the back cushion open and place it over here now escape go to constraint here uh, first uh, rotate it you can rotate it go to free rotation select this and rotate it like this as it's going to be placed exit now go to constraint select this face rotate and select this face ok apply select this top face and this top click on flush apply for back select this face rotate and select this face click on mate and apply exit change the view ok so half cushions we have placed now we will not place the second half so we will mirror all the three go to mirror select all three cushions one by one go to mirror plane and here we will select the xy plane so by selecting the xy plane you can see the mirror profiles in green and ok and ok so these are the mirror profiles so this is the complete assembly so this was a basic tutorial to how to make a 3d model of sofa in autodesk inventor software and how to assemble all the parts of sofa i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you